The heart is a symbol of love, but is also what keeps our loved ones alive. In February is National Heart Awareness Month. Fox 21's Jessica Livingstone spoke to a health clinic about how to protect you or your loved ones in their heart by avoiding things that actually take a toll on your heart. Yeah, Scott, many Coloradans like to unwind or celebrate with an alcoholic beverage, but that may put you at greater risk for heart disease. Heart health is, is important to all of us in the United States. Uh, it is the leading killer as far as heart disease is the leading cause of death uh, in the U.S. According to MyHeart.org, heart disease is responsible for about one out of every five deaths in America. Untreated substance use disorders and including alcohol is one of the major factors that contribute to overall heart disease in the United States. With apparent immediate symptoms like short-term use such as binging when folks drink a lot on the weekends or something like that can actually cause a direct toxic effects what's called holiday heart syndrome which can end up people up in the hospital and can even lead to cardiac arrest. Manifesting in things like high blood pressure and heart rate over time repeated alcohol use will start to take a major hit on your heart health. Hypertension, uh, cardiomyopathy, basically the heart gets bigger because it has to work harder. That's why excessive use or abuse of alcohol will eventually catch up to you. Drugs like fentanyl or cocaine also impact the heart. These drugs can cause high, high uh, heart rate, uh, high blood pressure, and you can have an increased risk of heart attacks. For some people, monitoring how much is too much can be hard for them to see themselves. Colorado Springs actually has uh, a lot of places folks can go to ask for help. There's our company, Porchlight Health, which will get you in within one to two days. Doctors are being trained now to help eliminate the stigma that comes with substance use disorders, making it easier to be honest with yourself, family, and your health care provider. Dr. Dubin said recent studies show the healthy amount of alcohol is no alcohol at all. Resources that you or a loved one may need can be found at fox21news.com.